you have two examples and written and then I would continue to make the, 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 the third node. The third node is to continue from here, okay? And for the third node, sometimes we like to graphically represent the, um, the vibrations. So here we're going to try is to represent So here I'm going to introduce what is a phase diagram, and we can look at here. Um, again, for the undamped vibrations, Vibrations have this template x cosine omega nt minus v and velocity equal to minus omega n capital X sine omega nt minus v. And uh, the phase diagram basically, okay, let me repeat, uh, do this one quickly here. So if you look at these terms carefully, then you can see if we have um, x squared with a uh, time, this square plus x dot divided by omega n. Let me do this one. What is this? Right now we have velocity divided by omega n, and right now we take simply take the square term. The energy vector. Yeah. What is this value? It's just capital square. Yes. That's yes. good. Okay. So we we'll look at this one. Basically, this one is called the. Uh, a uh, kind of this circle the equation for describing the circle, right? And the circle has the radius, has a center uh, at the zero, zero of some corner systems with a radius equal to x. So let me draw that circle. The circle is drawn in terms of the two uh, coordinates. One coordinate is using xt. The other coordinate using velocity this is x t dot velocity and divide by omega n. Okay. Right? You can see basically this one equation equivalent is the uh, the a square plus b square equal to x squared, right? So basically a equal to x, b equal to this one, and we simply draw on here. Okay? Why, sorry, why does that have to do with divided by omega n? Because here, okay, let me write one more time. So here, if I divide omega n, so basically this term becomes like this, right? right? Okay, and then the square of these terms equal to the square of this term. The square of these terms equal to the square of this term. Basically it's x squared, called sine squared plus sine squared equal to one. So in this way I simply make up this one. Okay, so this one is a circle of radius, capital X. Okay, 
And so this drawing is the same I draw uh, the motions of vibration in a phase diagram. So here, let me utilize this as one example to uh, uh, broadly introduce the uh, definition of the phase diagram. Phase diagram in general is expressed in terms of the dynamic systems. It's expressed in uh, terms of the displacement and velocity. Sometimes people like to scale displacement and or velocity with certain numbers. The scaling is okay, but as long as you draw your information in terms of dynamics, in terms of displacement and velocity, that we define as a uh, phase diagram. And in particular, for our example here, I have scaled the y uh, axis over omega a in the way I want to draw a circle. If I wouldn't want to, uh, if say if I like to draw my systems into x t and simply x dot t on the other phase diagram without any scaling in the velocity, what happens? Then that will be um, uh, um, elapsed. Yeah, elapsed. I believe in this case should be uh, this case. Okay, and how big that one? Uh, if you still remember ellipse, and I believe the ellipse have the major axis and minor axis, and the major minor can be defined by, this is, should be omega, um, the minor should be equal to omega a, something like that one, but it's not important. Okay, so that is the phase diagram, and really depends on users, and so from here, we simply draw uh, into the circle in terms of the scaled uh, axis. So in homework to you, I think there's a one question I put into self-exercise. I ask you to write a program either in MATLAB or in Excel. And from that question, you can solve for xt. And from there, you can put the derivative, take the derivative for the x dot. Then you simply plot, OK? You simply plot. That means you uh, do the numbers for t, say, changing from 0 to expanding the whole period. And then in this way, you should have so many data points. You simply trace the points on your plot. Uh, don't look at me in that kind of the, the way. <laughs> What I would say is if, if you forgot how to do the programming, I think the uh, ES201 and um, ES301, that kind of the contents can help you. That is very uh, straightforward. Okay, so. In MATLAB, you can try is this for, say, T equal to zero to say, uh, let me, let me say arbitrary, okay, from zero, one, two, and assuming the period, if you can calculate period, okay, so let me say 10 seconds. Okay, so then that is go to 10. Simply my plot is into uh, one, one, one period, okay. So in this way, you can have the xt. Um, you need to have an index, okay, so here say index equal to zero, and index i equal to i plus one, so the first one will be equal to x, whatever you derive, and you simply implement that kind of function there. Okay, and then velocity, then will be equal to whatever you calculate x dot, you simply do the implement that equations. So now this is end, so in this way, in the whole cycles you have the information is like this, when t equal to zero, you have xt and xt dot, and for the first t equal to zero, you have the value, and equal to zero, one, you have the value, and t of t equal to 10, and you have so many values. And in the final, you simply plot, and then, because right now you're going to arrange into this way, so x is on the x axis, you simply put the x. Okay, and y is on the y axis, you simply put a v, because in terms of the symbol I use v, and divide by omega n. So here you have to give the omega n equal to whatever the numbers, then in this way, MATLAB will give you uh, this kind of the plot. Okay, on the other side, you can make another plot x, v. In this way, you can see if you plot the on the phase diagram without the scaling, then the second plot will give you uh, 
ellipse. Give a try. Okay. Again, uh, that is the rough kind of pseudocode, and just go to the detail a little bit. Okay. So that is for this. Um, yeah. Uh, 